Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you've all been keeping well. Today's video is a 20 piece workwear capsule wardrobe for all seasons. So I've recently received a few requests for me to create and share a video in relation to workwear and I thought this might be really helpful, particularly if you are someone who is interested in trying to create a capsule wardrobe for your workwear or if you're someone who is heading back into the office or if you're simply after some tips and tricks on how to look more polished and stylish for the office. So this is a seasonless 20 piece workwear capsule wardrobe. I've tried to incorporate pieces which can easily mix and match with each other. There are some pieces here though which are suitable for specific seasons. So for example, there is a wool coat for winter. There's also a trench coat for autumn and springtime. There's a variety of clothing here from retailers from the high street to the premium high street. So thinking of brands such as Cezanne, Arquette, Reese, Ralph Lauren, Forever New and LK Bennett to name a few. And throughout today's video, I'm also going to be sharing some tips on how to create a workwear capsule wardrobe. I'll also link all of the items who are available down in the description box below. Starting off with tip number one for creating your workwear capsule wardrobe, and that is to work with a consistent color palette. The color palette which I'm using today is very neutral and cool toned inspired. So it includes base colors of white, navy and black, perfect for the office. There's also accent colors such as cream, blue, taupe and beige when it comes to the clothing, footwear and accessories. Some reasons why it's really helpful for you to use a consistent color palette when it comes to creating your workwear capsule wardrobe is because it really does help you easily mix and match pieces together. Using a consistent color palette also helps you to create tonal looks when it comes to your workwear capsule wardrobe. And I find for me, it just simply takes the stress out of creating a lot of outfits, especially if you are working with a lot of separate pieces. So we'll move into the first category of this 20 piece workwear capsule wardrobe and that is tops. So I'm going to start with a piece which is actually incredibly affordable and it is one of the most worn pieces in my wardrobe and it is this t-shirt here. This is the heavyweight t-shirt from Arquette and one of the reasons why I think this is a perfect piece especially for the office is due to the quality of the material. So this is a t-shirt, it's their heavyweight style so it is a little bit thicker in terms of the material composition it also especially in the white version it's not transparent so I think that's something that's really important when you are in the office is trying to steer away from the sheer pieces unless you have something that you want to lay underneath like a camisole or a tank top for instance this t-shirt here is great because it's going to pair easily with basically any sort of separate set you can have on the bottom half. So this is something that I would definitely pair with a pair of smart trousers. It's also something that I think would work really well with like a lovely nudie skirt and conversely also for those casual Fridays in the office, this is something that can pair perfectly with a pair of jeans. It's very simple so it's not going to attract a lot of attention. The great thing about an item like this is that you can simply dress it up a little bit when it comes to your accessories or the footwear that you're wearing in your outfit. A very, very high quality t-shirt that is incredibly affordable and one which can also work well underneath the blazers as well for the transitional seasons. So the second piece in this 20 piece workwear capsule wardrobe is a marinere. And what I love about a marinere for the office is that it really does incorporate that element of French or Parisian chic into your work wardrobe. Stripes are always a classic print. They're very appropriate for the office. Um, and I think that they can suit women in a wide range of ages. So whereas other prints such as florals or polka dots might seem a little bit too feminine or eye-catching, stripes are always office appropriate. This is a really lovely one here from Cezanne and it's got a really lovely two button detail on the left shoulder. It is three quarter sleeves and in a substantial organic cotton material as well. So this is the type of item which, you know, pairing perfectly with trousers or with denim jeans for casual Fridays, you're not going to need a cardigan to wear of this because it has three quarter sleeves and the material is quite thick. 
So it's definitely a very chic and French or Parisian styled um, separate for your workwear wardrobe. The third top in this 20 piece workwear capsule wardrobe is a simple three quarter sleeved top. This one actually has a boat neckline. I think boat or bateau necklines are incredibly chic, especially for the office. And I decided to incorporate a black top into this workwear capsule wardrobe. You really can't go wrong with the black for the office. Pop on some lovely gold or silver jewelry. The, a statement belt if you're wearing this with a pair of trousers, I think that would look really nice. This one is also three quarter sleeves. Um, so again, it's that perfect option for the transitional seasons of autumn and springtime. So moving from black to a top, which is a lot lighter, I think a silk blouse is definitely one of those core essential pieces that any woman can have in her workwear capsule wardrobe. This is a really feminine one here from Cezanne. We've got the lovely sort of embroidered ruffled, ruffled detail along the neckline and down the front placket as well. This one is quite sheer, so you can see the coat hanger through there. So this is one that I would definitely um, wear a camisole underneath, just that little bit of extra coverage. And another great thing I love about silk tops, they're very, very breathable. So even though this is long sleeves, it's not always restricted to the colder seasons of the year. You can definitely roll the sleeves up. That's how I prefer to wear a lot of my tops and you can get that extra usage out of them. Silk tops such as these, again, effortlessly pair with separate. So whether it's a skirt or a pair of trousers or even jeans, you can definitely get a lot of use out of one of these in your workwear capsule wardrobe. So moving on to an item which is very preppy and office appropriate, I've decided to include an item of knitwear here. And this is a really lovely one. We've got that sort of cable knit that goes throughout the top here. It is long sleeves with the boat or bateau neckline. If you're familiar with Ralph Lauren, then you've probably identified this is one of their core signature pieces. I think having a knit wear piece such as this one is definitely vital in any workwear capsule wardrobe. I probably wouldn't encourage you to have a boat neck neckline like what I've got with this one. I think I probably would encourage you to go with something that has a crew neckline. The reason for that is because you can also layer silk blouses or cotton shirts underneath items such as this and have the collar poking out. That's going to be a little bit more difficult for me to achieve with this one due to the neckline. But this is just a really lovely, chic and preppy piece. Again, I think this is something that I probably wear with trousers or jeans. Um, and yeah, just a, a really cool staple piece that you can get a lot of years of use out of. Now this would not be a workwear capsule or wardrobe without the humble white cotton shirt. I had to include this. This is another core wardrobe staple, not only for work, but also for the weekend as well. So what I love about this one from Cezanne is just how soft the cotton feels. It's very breathable. Um, and I always have the sleeves rolled up to three quarter length, but it is a long sleeve cotton shirt. This is just a must have in any workwear capsule wardrobe. It's going to pair back seamlessly like so many of the tops do in this one with different trousers, skirts, and also jeans. So I think this is definitely a must have. This one was really affordable as well. You don't need to spend a ton of money when it comes to a simple white cotton shirt. Um, there are some great affordable versions out there on the high street and the premium high street. This one is in that classic fit. I would recommend though, when you are looking at shirts for the office, is to sort of steer away from the oversized shirt. So I know um, a lot of people sort of like the, the oversized shirt look with, you know, a bit of the hem sticking out and not tucked in. However, working in an office, you really, um, you know, don't want to be drawing too much attention to your outfit and you don't want to be looking um, like you haven't given much thought to how you've styled the outfit or looking a little bit undressed or unkempt. And I think that when it comes to shirts such as these ones, they really do need to be tucked in in the workplace. So I wouldn't style this with the back hanging out. I also wouldn't style it with, you know, one half of the front hem hanging out. Um, I think that's probably best left to the weekend for your styling um, creativity. But yeah, definitely a workwear wardrobe staple. I have included another shirt here as well because I think it's always fun 
to incorporate different options when it comes to particular pieces. This one from Ralph Lauren is another staple piece for me in my work capsule wardrobe. I really love the combination of the blue and the white stripes. It's going to fit in seamlessly with trousers, particularly trousers that are blue or navy to work in with the shirt. And again, you know, whether you want to wear it long sleeved or have the cuffs um, or the sleeves rolled up to your elbows, however you want to style it, it's something that is really light. So you can definitely layer underneath it during the cooler months of the year. But this is also a great piece for autumn and springtime as well because it is quite breathable. So definitely an item that I think looks really sophisticated and smart and will help you feel very polished in the office. And the final item in the tops category for this work where capsule wardrobe is very winter or autumn appropriate. So this one is a little turtleneck. It's got that lovely sort of four button detail on the left hand shoulder, long sleeves. Um, this is a, a wool, I think this is 100% merino wool. Um, so very, very warm. And again, I think, you know, you can't go wrong with a turtleneck, especially in black. It's just very chic and very classic. And again, will easily pair with, you know, an abundance of separates when it comes to your bottom pieces in your work capsule wardrobe. So my second tip for when it comes to creating your workwear capsule wardrobe is try to have a higher proportion of your tops to your bottom pieces. So I think I read somewhere that the guideline is about 70% tops to 30% of your bottom pieces. I'm not sure whether, you know, that percentage is, is correct. I think it can be tailored depending upon your own personal style and the items that you have. But I do agree that having more tops in a capsule wardrobe is probably a really good idea. I think there's multiple reasons for that. The first reason is that often our tops are things that are going to take the focus when it comes to our overall outfit. So for instance, if you are wearing a piece that is um, has got a pattern on it, or if you're wearing a top that has details such as ruffles, or even um, details such as little buttons on there, these can often grab the attention compared to say the skirt or the trousers that you're wearing. I think another reason why it does help to have a higher proportion of tops in your capsule wardrobe compared to the bottom pieces is that because often with tops we do have to wash them after each wear. Conversely, with items such as jeans, you won't have to wash these pieces after everywhere either. So that's another thing to consider. Onto the second category of items for this 20-piece workwear capture wardrobe, and that is the bottom pieces, which will consist of skirts and trousers. So one of the most favorite pieces that I have that I think is perfect for a workwear capture wardrobe is a pleated skirt. I absolutely love sunray pleat skirts such as this one. This one was really affordable. I picked this up from Forever New and it's an item that I think is really, really feminine, very, very flowy. Being in a neutral um, color such as black, it's going to pair seamlessly with a lot of different tops in this capsule wardrobe. So for instance, going for a tonal look, you could pair it with the two black tops. If you wanted sort of a little bit more of a casual look from a Friday, you could have the t-shirt there. And I also think that even you could pair this with probably the white shirt that we've got here as well. Um, so you're mixing the feminine with the more classic or structured style of the white shirt. So an abundance of different options when it comes to a lovely pleated skirt. A similar one that I have, this is also a midi skirt. It's not in the pleated style though. This is just in a really lovely sort of silky satiny finish. Again, I prefer these types of skirts. I used to wear a lot of pencil skirts to the office, quite fitted, um, but I've definitely changed my personal style preferences over the last couple of years. And I think skirts such as these ones, they're still really, really feminine, but you don't feel as restricted in them. So I think one such as this, again, is going to pair really easily with a lot of the tops. So this would work really well with the blue and white striped shirt there. And I also think even the lovely cable knit sweater as well. So definitely midi skirts and pleated skirts, I think, are 
a really um, good choice for work capsule wardrobe. Now, something that I don't see mentioned often in work capsule wardrobes is jeans, but I think we really do need to include a pair in this one because we have casual Fridays and I don't know about you, but I know that for my office, we have more of like a dress for your day. It is becoming a lot more casual, even though it is a corporate environment. Jeans are definitely an item that I would reach for, particularly on a casual Friday. These are my most favorite pair at the moment. They are in a straight leg style. And I think having a pair of straight leg jeans is a brilliant um, option to consider as opposed to say skinny leg jeans or potentially boyfriend style jeans for the office. They're just a really chic and timeless denim style. So you can't really go wrong with them. And again, I've chosen this pair in that sort of mid blue colorway I could pair any top that I've got in this capsule wardrobe with these jeans, um, so that's why I've decided to include these. Moving on to trousers, I've got three different pairs here that I want to share with you. Now, I think when it comes to trousers, you really need to um, understand what your body shape is and your own personal style because there's a huge range of styles out there when it comes to trousers. For me personally, I do like to gravitate towards the high-waisted style because I am quite petite. Um, so this is a lovely pair in black that's from Cezanne. This is a high-waisted style with sort of little pleats on the front there. It is a paper bag style as well with a straight leg. Now I have the exact same pair of this in the navy as well. Um, so I would recommend that if you do find a pair of trousers that you really like, try and pick them up in multiple colours if you know that they really work for you. But I definitely would encourage you to have, you know, at least a pair in black because it's so classic and then also in a colour which is going to suit the colour palette of your wardrobe. So that's why I've chosen these in navy as well because again I know that it's going to work back seamlessly with all of the different tops that I have. Now for the last pair of trousers, I have chosen a different type of style. This is another pair of high-waisted trousers. They are slightly in that wide leg. Um, so there's something that's a little bit different to the other pair of trousers that I showed you here. I really like these and I think that this particular style is great, especially for the cooler months of the year. The material on these is actually quite thick and substantial. So I love that. This one's got that sort of belt there. Very, very high-waisted, and then it's got the seams on the front. So this is something that I think could definitely work well with most of the tops, and it just gives you a little bit of a different silhouette compared to, say, the straight leg, high-waisted, paper bag, waist style trousers. So tip number three when it comes to creating your workwear capsule wardrobe is to focus more on separates as opposed to dresses. Now, one of the reasons that I say this is because I think that it is a lot easier to mix and match and create different outfits as opposed to having a wardrobe full of dresses. As much as I love dresses, they're incredibly feminine. It just does give you a lot more sort of a variety when it comes to styling and getting more mileage out of your work capsule wardrobe. The second reason is because I don't know about you, but I know for myself when it comes to my work dresses, some of them need to be dry cleaned. So if you do want to sort of reduce your dry cleaning bill, then making sure that you know, you don't have too many dresses that you need to send away to get cleaned um, is going to be a good thing. Having said that, the next category is dresses. I couldn't have this workwear capsule wardrobe without including them. I've only got two here. One is great for the warmer months of the year and the second is perfect for the cooler time of the year. So this one here is just perfect for the office. This is actually the second one of this exact dress that I purchased. So I've had this particular style in my wardrobe for probably maybe six or seven years now, maybe even longer. Um, so what I love about this one is that we've got that sort of round neckline. It does have little sleeves there, so you are covering your shoulders. It's knee length and it has a functional pockets as well. It's in really, really good quality material. This is a wool blend and in that perfect for the office navy colorway. So I really love this one. The more winter or autumn appropriate one, this is a recent addition to my wardrobe. It is in that sort of tweed or boucle style material. Hopefully you guys can see that up close. So this has that boat neckline. It is in all black, so incredibly chic. 
does have three quarter sleeves as well, functional pockets, and we've got that sort of military inspired gold button design detail on the waist to the hips. Now, this one is from the same brand that I purchased this dress from. I just think having a dress like this doesn't have to be in all black, but something that has three quarter sleeves is just really perfect. Again, you don't need to wear a cardigan if you have something that is three quarter sleeves. This is a little bit thicker as well. So you're just minimizing the amount of pieces that you need to have in your workwear capsule wardrobe by looking at the sleeve length. Definitely a very sophisticated piece that would not look out of place in any office. So the next tip when it comes to creating your workwear capsule wardrobe is to focus on choosing good quality outerwear. And the reason why I say this is because our outerwear is designed to actually protect us from the elements. It's also often some of the only part of the outfit that other people might see, particularly if you are on your way to and from work or if you're on your lunch break. And I think that if you do choose really good quality outerwear, then these pieces can last you for many, many years. So the next category that I'm going to look at is blazers or jackets. I've got two here. The first one is the most recent one to my wardrobe. So this is from LK Bennett. This is a really lovely sort of um, boucle, very Chanel inspired jacket. This one comes in black and also navy as well. What I love about this is that because of the colours that we've got in this, it's going to pair back with, you know, the different skirts. It's going to work really well to dress up that pair of jeans for a casual Friday. And it's also going to work in particularly with the black trousers that I have as well. So I think having a jacket like this one, potentially with something with a little bit of detail, like the little trim here on the buttons, is a great way to inject a little bit of your own personal style when it comes to your work wardrobe. This one is quintessentially me because I really love those feminine pieces, anything sort of French or Parisian inspired or anything that is sort of Chanel inspired particularly, I definitely gravitate towards. So that's why I've decided to include this one. The second blazer that I have is something that's a little bit more simple, definitely not as eye-catching. It is a simple navy classic fit blazer. This is from Reese. I really love Reese, particularly when it comes to their outerwear, so their coats and their blazers and jackets. I think they're really high quality. This one has a lovely sort of textured element on the material. It is fully lined as well. And I think, again, it's going to pair wonderfully with a lot of the skirts, trousers, and this would also look really nice with the pair of jeans for casual Fridays. Next up, we have an item which you could potentially get use out of six months out of the entire year. It is a trench coat. Now, I've got this one here in black, which I've probably had for at least over a decade. Um, it is from a British label called Jigsaw. It's got that sort of very traditional double-breasted button style. We've got the little storm flap on the neckline there. And we've also got that sort of detail on the cuffs. This is a really brilliant piece that I've worn year after year. The cost per wear on this is minuscule over the years. And I think it's just such a really practical item. Sometimes just simply wearing a blazer or a jacket is not going to keep you warm enough. This is really great, particularly if it is windy or there's a bit of a chill in the air if you're going to work or if you're on your lunch break as well. So definitely a core cool staple item I'd recommend for anyone in their workwear capsule wardrobe. And the last piece in this 20 piece workwear capsule wardrobe would have to be a wool coat for winter. Now I have picked this one up recently this year. This is from Reese. Um, again, I love the coats that they make. They're really high quality. I decided to go with this one. This has quite a high sort of funnel neckline there. It's very, very plain as well. I'm not sure if it's gonna show up very well on this camera, maybe in the, the styling cutaways. But I think this was just something that's incredibly simple in black. So if you are someone that gets public transport to work, then gravitating towards a coat in a darker color is definitely going to be preferable. It's going to allow you to sort of hide any sort of stains a lot easier. Um, and it's just a very classic option. 
This coat particularly is also something that I can wear not only to the office but in the cooler months of the year if you're going out for dinner and you need to sort of have um, something to warm on until you get into the restaurant or the bar then this is a great option and definitely something that's also going to be very appropriate for the office. So we've had a look at the four different categories that make up this 20 piece workwear capsule wardrobe and I've also shared some different tips that can hopefully help you when it comes to creating your own version of a workwear capsule wardrobe. I'd love to hear what you guys think of the different pieces that I've chosen here and some of the outfits that I've put together so please make sure you share your thoughts with me down in the comments below. If you did like today's video, please don't forget to give it a, a thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoyed it. And also consider subscribing if you haven't as yet, if you did enjoy it and you'd like to see more content like this from me here in the future. It really does help support the channel. And thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed and returned. I really appreciate your support very, very much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've had an amazing Easter and long weekend. And I'll see you next week with a brand new video. Bye.